Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Second part to this video on May of 2019, so you know when it is that we're wiring these electrical blinds, uh, 24 volt. Uh, before I'm done by the end of the day, well, let's do it now real quick, so I'll forget. Okay, this is the outside of the house. It's pretty big. I mean, this is definitely custom. It's not your normal track home like I live in, 1,800 square foot. Uh, this is going to be more like a 4,000, 5,000 square foot home. Mexican tiled roofs where everything you've got right here are going to be those A slanted roofs, lower pitched. Um, so it makes it a little tricky getting in those corners. Um, I'll take you around the back. But this, this video is really to help you out on electrical blinds and also two in one. Some of you keep emailing me about the practicality of do I want to be an apprentice electrician. Well, here's where I was at in that other video in that little hole just trying to spread out with my piece of wood and fish this down. So we got this down, no damage right here. Uh, I, some of you guys don't think I know how to fish a wire without drilling holes, of course we can. Just depends on the layout of the house. So uh, yeah, you can keep those comments to yourself. Um, so anyways, here's the second uh, part where we have two access holes in this house, which is really nice. And here's the garage and way over here on the other side is the master bedroom. It is a ranch style with a walkout basement. Um, keep in mind, I'm actually going to order another ladder. My wife thinks I have way too many ladders. I probably have eight by now. I'm ordering another one just like this, that little giant's up, but actually does a platform and it does stairs kind of different and it has an overhang so you can actually get over workbenches, uh, which is nice by the way, whoever designed that. I think it's by Little Giant as well. Um, no, who's it by? Anyways, once I get it, I'll show you, but this is a Little Giant. These things work great, guys, for practicality. I couldn't have found a better ladder on the truck for all day cooking. And then if I get on this ladder and I extend up, I can stand on the top, which you're not supposed to, or I can stand right here, but I can get about 15 and a half foot uh, to almost 16, and that helps me with some of my ceiling fan jobs that are arched pitched. But those flat ceilings at 22 foot, we end up having to have a trussle ladder that goes up that high that takes three people to set up. But that guy folds down and it's really nice because it sits right there on the side of the van. So again, what a great setup for a ladder, guys, if you want practicality. Um, I'll walk you through real quick here to show you the layout of the house. And then I'll show you this kind of the steps that I'm doing for these blinds. But they are 120 volt rated primary coming into the little control panel. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, if you're looking at trying to be a service tech, um, people have cameras almost in every room nowadays inside, so kind of kind of keep the voice down. A lot of you say, I can't hear you. You're not talking loud enough. That's great, but they also have video cameras and it's their home. So if that's a contingent for you, you could buy some hearing aids or turn up the volume. So once we're in here, we're gonna wire up all those blinds and I'll show you another video later. That's the goal today. And our second access hole would have been great to have two of those ladders because of this today. All right, thanks guys.